So I wasn't originally going to film this, so I do apologize that we're kind of doing it backwards. But the question is, is a $700 sway bar worth it? Now, the Carly sway bar for the 14 plus Rams. Obviously, they have a version for the 03 to the 13. So you can see it's got adjustable end links. When you compare it to the cheesy little factory end link, you can see it's a lot beefier it's a lot better quality factory sway bar that got taken off and as you can already see after only 4,000 miles that bushing has a lot of play in it and this is a more rigid sway bar and like I said compared to the, the factory components it's kind of crap. The other good news is it is compatible with a steering brace is the steering brace and that's the stabilizer bar so as you can see the mounts that it comes with from Carly are compatible with that steering brace and like I said it includes all the hardware and it's really easy to install so I don't think there's any question that obviously the anything from Carly is going to be an improvement over the stock uh, components that come on any truck not just Dodge um, so I'm not going to go into a huge, a huge thing of you know what, what's the difference between the stock part and the aftermarket part. The aftermarket part is obviously specifically tuned for a very different ride, and the components are a lot higher quality. The everything about it is a lot higher quality. That's obviously why it's 700 bucks. Um, question is, is is it is it worth 700 dollars? Um, the in terms of manufacturing quality, yes. In terms of ride improvement, I feel yes. But it's a lot of money compared to other components of a level or a lift. And you have to understand that there's two ways to level a truck. You can either get you know, a $60 ready lift coil spring, I mean, excuse me, a coil spacer, and use the shock space that comes with it and yeah your truck will sit level but it's gonna be shit um, at the time of this video I've got coil spacers on a high quality it's a $400 aluminum coil spacer but I still don't really like it so I am gonna change to coil leveling coils but there's also upgraded shocks I've got a, an adjustable Carly track bar to make sure that the axle is centered uh, now this sway bar upgrade is is uh, another improvement and then like I said when the coils are on it's gonna be a really nice riding truck the, the only thing after that I can possibly upgrade is obviously the, the ball joints which Carly have not released the um, ultimate duty ball joints or whatever they call it for this year truck yet and then the radius arms which those are like 1400 bucks so those will be uh, a whole nother project but let's talk about really quick what a sway bar does or some people call it an anti-roll bar, some people call it a sway bar, some people call it an anti-sway bar, but uh, essentially what it does is it pivots oppositely. So when you're taking a turn and the truck or, or any car starts to body roll, it'll, it'll push up, I believe, yeah, it'll push up on that wheel because if you think a truck's rolling this way, that'll cause the bar to push up, which will in turn push the opposite side down and keep traction on that tire. Um, a lot of the times in a truck when you're going over a speed bump not perfectly straight or if you're pulling into your driveway, what will happen is it'll cause a lot of body roll and, and that's what this bar is, is designed to do. On the Dodge specifically, the factory torsion rate at the bar is set very high so it's almost it almost matches the axle, which is why you get such a stiff front ride. Now, one of, I was I was nervous. I went back and forth about buying this part for quite a while because, you know, I don't want my thing to, f to feel like a Baja racer or just be all kind of loosey goosey. Um, but that's that's not the case at all. It's uh, I can feel the difference, but it's hard to describe. So. On a daily drive, I haven't taken it off-road yet because it just got put on, but on a daily drive, it's a noticeable difference. You know, drive, roads that you drive regularly, 
at least <laughs> car guys know when those kind of harsh bumps are coming up or when, when the, where there's that harsh part of the road where you know you're going to have an issue or an uncomfortable time. And, and I've already noticed that it, that this sway bar kind of handles those a little bit better. Um, you can, obviously you probably can't tell just from watching me, me drive, but I am telling you, like I, I, pay, I paid for this part, I paid to have it installed, like it's nothing, it's not that I'm, I'm not uh, tarnishing my, my opinion based on something free or anything like that, so this is strictly based on trying to make the front end of this truck the very best that it could be, and uh, I think Carly does it well. There's, there is a Thurin version that's a, a, a little bit cheaper, but it's a tremendous amount more work to, to get it put on and get it put on correctly. The Carly one is incredibly easy to install. It comes with all the components, it's very high quality, and I think it looks a lot better. And that beginning shot I showed you, you see kind of the, the sway bar arms up and and uh, with the Carly logo there, it looks super nice, especially when everything on the truck is, is Carly, almost everything on the truck is Carly. It uh, makes a nice difference. Um, I think it's lighter, I don't know the exact weight, but I've got the old track bar in the back seat and this one feels a lot lighter. It's better quality construction, obviously. Those end links are 5 8 inch thick compared to those tiny little uh, uh, factory ones that you saw, so they're a lot more durable. And like I said, it's just, just a much better quality thing. So in terms of, I'm not gonna get into is it worth $700 in terms of budget because you know, obviously that's for you to decide, but if you're gonna do your truck right, and see, that corner right there is kinda usually pretty gnarly. So if you're gonna do your truck right, I'll get going a little fast so we can see kinda how it corners at a higher speed. So if you're gonna do your truck right, it, um, I think it's a, it's a good part of any suspension package. Now. I did speak to the guys at Carly before I ordered this and asked a lot of questions. And so what this bar is and how it differs from the factory bar is this one has a progressive torsion rate. So at low speed, it allows more movement of the axle and allows the suspension to do what it's designed to do. But then at a higher speed or when it experiences a higher amount of body roll, like I said, if you're going around a corner quickly, then um, it kind of tighten. I, I don't know exactly how it's made. I don't know, you know, the the uh, engineering of a of a track bar or a sway bar. The way that they explained it is, it's progressively um, the torsion rate progresses as the truck rolls more. So it kind of reacts to the way you're driving a little bit better than the factory. So anyway, that's my that's my thoughts on it. I think it's worth it. I think it's it, there's not a lot of information about it available online, maybe because it is so new or maybe because it is so uh, cost prohibitive. But like I said, if you want to do your truck right, I think it's a pivotal part of a, of a good suspension system. And obviously, Carly doesn't make this stuff for no reason. So you know they've they found yeah, a weak point in a suspension system and and taken the steps to upgrade it. And like I said, I think it's. You know, it's very good. I'm interested to see how it rides with the new coils I'm getting and uh, and then that'll be the end of the uh, front end upgrades. Then we're going to move on to the transmission. So thanks as always for watching and leave any other questions or comments you have below. As always, if you made it this far in the video, you are the absolute best. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was an absolute blast making it for you. If you did enjoy it, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button right in the middle of your screen. I've also put two videos here that I think you might like. Throw me a thumbs up, and as always, thank you so much for watching.